Alright guys, I J Book here for the quick pickup video. What's up guys, IJBug here with a review for you guys. So a while back, like way back, whenever I think I got my hair did, or my ripstop bag, um, one of my viewers told me to do a review of my heritage and my ripstop Herschel bag so that you guys can see like how they're holding up after a while. I think I've been in school for like a month now, so I've used each bag for about two weeks each. And um, I guess quality wise, I'm having mixed feelings. But overall, like style wise, I think they look good with everything. So I guess that's where I say that they're good. But, alright, so I'm here today to show you guys these. This right here is my Heritage Herschel bag, the black and brown colorway as you can see. And this one is my Herschel Ripstop bag. Um, the reason why there's stuff in here is because this is the backpack that I've been using lately. And I wanted to show you guys like size-wise how much it can hold. But um, everything that's like small details, I'm going to go into about this bag, the Heritage bag because it's lighter so I don't have to carry that thing for like 10 minutes. But um, yeah, so let's get started with the Heritage bag. Like I said, quality wise on the Herschel bags, I'm having mixed feelings. And it's not really the quality per se, it's more the durability. I've only used the bag for two weeks and already the bottom of my bag the pleather is already ripping and don't think that I treat my bags like crap it's more like it just happened I every time I go to lunch outside I don't put my bag on the floor I put it on the table every time I and in class on my table on my desk or on the back of my chair that's pretty much it I don't put my bags on the floor um, but somehow they still ripped or the pleather ripped but other than the pleather, there's really nothing else that I'm complaining about with this bag specifically. This heritage bag is holding up actually pretty well. The patch, um, the stitching isn't coming out. The stitching on this thing, on the strap, isn't coming out. Uh, the handle, not ripping yet. Or I hope it's not going to rip ever. Um, alright, pocket, front pocket. Just for those of you who don't use it, or even if you do, the really convenient pocket, seriously. I put all my pens and pencils in there. The money that I use for lunch goes all in here. It's way easier to grab it all out rather than going into a big pocket. Um, the front, oh, there's the key holder in the front that I don't use because I don't really need my keys. But uh, the inside, as you know, all Herschel bags come with the red and white um, striped pattern on the inside. Size-wise, the bag is actually really big. You'll see how much you can fit in there with my backpack, and I don't even fill that thing up, so you'll see that. Um, Stitching-wise, on the inside, no problems yet. I hope there's not going to be any problems. Um, the laptop holder, I don't bring my laptop to school right now, so this isn't of any use except for, like, Stuff that I know I'm going to pull out in every class I put in here. Just pull it out, it's more convenient. And everything else goes in here. It's a pretty deep backpack. If you guys are looking for something that's that looks good with your outfits and you can still hold quite a lot of stuff, I suggest you get one of these. Um, yeah, I mean, see it looks good. But, alright, so let's get to the ripstop bag. Alright, so, here is my Herschel Ripstop bag. I'm, I'm just going to start off with the stuff that I don't like. I mean, I don't even see why they call it a Ripstop bag when after two weeks my bag is already ripping. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, but my straps are ripping already. Like, they're ripped right here. Um, the patch in the front, I don't know how it happened, but the stitching is coming out right here already. And like I said with the Heritage bag, I, don't, I do not treat these bags badly. I, I put them in the best places for them not to get ripped. I guess the straps happen from putting it on the chair. It's probably the, probably the most likely thing to happen. On the bottom, I don't know how to clean these bags. There's black marks from, I guess, whenever 
I was in art class because I take art. I think that's probably where that came from. Um, probably a towel and some water will clean it. If it works, I'll do a, I'll do a how-to video on that. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about everything that I've already stated. I'm just going to go over the stuff in the bag specifically. Uh, the front pocket again. Oh, one of the things that I do like about the ripstop bag, though, is that all the zippers have these leather, I guess, zip ties that go onto your zippers itself. I, I just think that's a good touch on the bag. Um, alright, inside. So, size, the thing that a lot of people are concerned about. It's a really good backpack. I do, I do not carry textbooks, so... Um, I guess you could try to figure that out. I mean, I still have a lot of space on this bag to put stuff before it starts getting too full. Um, just so you know, like, what's in here, there is a clipboard, this, like, black clipboard that holds papers and stuff. Um, six folders and a medium-sized binder with one notebook. I only need one notebook for school. Um, pens and pencils and stuff going on the front on the thing here. Also keep a calculator. Yeah, size, I mean, you could probably fit two textbooks in there if you guys need it. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably the best thing if you live in a rainy area is to get a ripstop bag because it downpoured on us when I was at lunch and my stuff stayed dry. I bet you if I would have used that heritage bag that all of my stuff would have gotten wet. So probably best bet if you guys live in a wet area. If you guys live in a hot place like this where it rarely rains, um, get a heritage bag. But if you're just like, if you want it for style, yes, go with the Herschel bags. But if you want quality, something that's going to last a really long time, don't waste your money on Herschel bags. I suggest that you get a chance board. Just, just get a chance board if it, all you need is for a backpack. I mean, personally, I just wanted the Herschel because it, it looks good in my outfits, and I'm just taking the Herschel bags. So that's why I got those. Probably, if you're like me, get a Herschel. If you want um, a backpack that's going to last you a while, get a chance sport. But, yeah, so. That's the end of my review with these. I'm sorry if I didn't get to anything that you guys want to know specifically. If there's any more you guys want to know about these bags, just leave a comment in my comment section down below. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So as you know, I'm a Karma Loop rep. Uh, use my rep code SWAGICAL. Please, you get a 20% discount and I get to do unboxings for you guys. I'm gonna start getting into those a lot more. Oh, and one more thing. Um, please like my videos. I, I don't know if you guys are really liking my videos or not because I lately I've been getting a lot of dislikes on my videos. I think it's because of the size shirts that I wear. Like this is that, okay, this is more fitting for the people that ask me why I wear larger shirts. It's because when I order stuff online, I don't wanna get something that doesn't fit me right and then it's just gonna feel weird. If I get something big, I can always shrink it. But, um, yeah, I just want to answer that question for you guys. Please like my videos if you guys really do enjoy them. I want to know if I'm doing everything correctly. Uh, yeah. So, like always, like, subscribe, share my videos. Peace.